Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Uh, this is uh, an update on my review of the Mars Hydro uh, SP150 uh, LED lights and uh, we'll have a look at those in a moment and we'll have a look at the little experiment with the plants that we uh, originally put in here. Uh, so I'll take uh, the rest out. Uh, it's a little bit crowded in here. Mrs K has uh, got her bedding plants. I've potted those on. We'll get those outside and we'll also be doing uh, a rocket potato reveal and we'll have a little look round here. Once I can get in. We made a bit of room so let's remove everything that wasn't in the original uh, experiment. So that's where we are now and I will uh, have a playlist so that you can actually see uh, the product uh, unboxing and uh, installation and uh, one or two of the others as well where we featured this. Let's have a little closer look. So these are the plants under the LEDs. These are the ones that we put in between the T5s and the SP150s. Uh, and uh, I didn't know whether it was leaning because it was leaning but as you can see it's leaning because it's grew that way uh, and this uh, most of them are leaning towards the LEDs uh, these are probably grew a little bit better but the, uh, the carrots are uh, roughly the same but I'll get a sample of the LEDs and the T5s outside because the light is totally different under them. Let's get into some natural light. So LEDs on the right, uh, it's number three, the unknown uh, varieties and uh, the colour is uh, roughly the same. Um, Alan might be able to tell us what they are, if they've got a purple tinge underneath them unless it's because of the lights but no doubt they'd love a little bit of uh, natural sunlight now which is what they're going to get now i haven't had the heater on now obviously it's a lot warmer now but at night time it's been really hot during the day and really cold at night time and i haven't had to put the heater on while the leds have been on they generate quite a bit of warmth at no extra cost. Now I have looked at this, I've switched the T5s on and the T, uh, the SP150 LEDs from Mars Hydro and the LEDs run a lot less electricity. You know, it could be down to about a penny uh, per hour, if that. It's always difficult when you've got things coming on in the house, etc. But I'm really pleased with them and uh, if anyone's uh, uh, Mars Hydro would like to know if anyone's interested in some greenhouse LEDs um, if you are leave it in the comments uh, they may be sending me uh, some greenhouse ones to try so we'll look forward to that so these have got to come out uh, we've uh, now got to get some of my courgette uh, cucumber and melon seedlings they've all chitted nearly a hundred percent i had a hundred percent success rate uh, one of uh, kelly's um uh the prince can't think of it at the minute but there's one of those uh, germinated but other than that everything else is germinated really well so i do need to get these under the lights bring them on a bit uh, ready for planting out uh, mid may end of may time uh, there's some flowers, bit of a mixture there, can't see the labels, they're right at the back and as you can see they're uh, doing quite well now. Uh, my last successional sowing of lettuce, as you can see it's been really warm today. I've had the vent open but uh, it may need a drop of water as well. Very difficult in a greenhouse, more sunflowers, uh, more cut and grow lettuce as you can see we've uh, taken some more there. Uh, the uh, Boltardi beetroot are almost ready for going out to the plot. 
some more successional sowing. Uh, I've done them separate this time, so you've got mustard, broccoli at the back, cress, and uh, rocky. I was planting them too thickly, but they look all right. And there's uh, the next lot of cut and, cut and come again, or just cut uh, beetroot. Uh, more of my uh, tomato plants we overwintered, and just uh, come uh, giant carrots. Um, I think there's some. Uh, there's the shop bought uh, cherry, and the bloody butcher at the back is growing really well. Some of the giant beetroots there, giant onions, some of the sea uh, beans that we've chitted. They're now in the box. I'll be doing a separate video on that. Uh, we're cutting uh, that beet. Uh, three extra flowers there that didn't fit into those boxes. And some giant uh, celeriac, giant Prague. And as soon as this warm weather disappears slightly, I'll get the Swedes out. And the uh, long chilies, show giant chilies, they're growing well. They could do we going out now into the uh, wick guttering uh, greenhouse. So uh, the potatoes now outside. That's there. So we'll do a reveal on that. And while you're still with me, if you are, uh, the uh, links to the SP150 are in the description below. Uh, we was queuing up as we are at the supermarket, and uh, all those plants there and those were 15 pounds I couldn't believe it three for five pounds uh, quite a price in the uh, garden set so I'll be taking cuttings of those and these were the uh, trays that come in so there's 60 plants there uh, and they're normal ones but they are quite quite solid so I'll get uh, a couple of years out of those so Mrs King's got her uh, uh, flowers for the garden and I've got some uh, little cell trays there so let's get this potato reveal done. So these are the rockets planted on the 2nd of the 1st. We're not quite uh, 120 days, but uh, Mrs. King said she wants some potatoes, some, some of these really nice rockets. So I'll uh, get the homes pulled off and emptied out. This bucket feels <coughs> very heavy, so <coughs> maybe too much water, guys. even though those potatoes were ugly. Now that potato just started to go soft so I'm not going to replant that. The last ones were all cracked and what have you. It looks like these could have done with a little bit extra. But they do uh, make for a real tasty potato, it doesn't matter how many we get, they don't cost me anything uh, to grow. Everything can be used. So that's what we've got out of that one. I'll just give them a quick swill off. And that's what we've got. Lovely. We'll enjoy them for our Sunday dinner. I'm now going to set up the grow room with the cucumbers, melons, uh, courgettes, etc. So this is my little trial now. This will be the last one. This is uh, part three of the LED uh, T uh, micro uh, Mars Hydro um, LED lights. So uh, let's have a little closer look. So we've got the Telegraph cucumber, telepathy sorry, uh, a medium pepper in the middle of the screen, a carmen cucumber, three courgettes, <coughs> courgettes there and a melon and we've got the exact same layout uh, on the other side and I've tried to pick plants that uh, are uh, all the same and uh, the capillary matting has been a godsend. Uh, well worth uh, getting and if you go into my uh, playlist you'll see the reviews uh, it'll be there but I'm really pleased with the these Mars uh, Hydro 
SP150 uh, LED lights. The links are in the description below if you want to have a look at them. Good guarantees on them and uh, really low cost running. Uh, and you don't have to add extra heat during the winter while they're on. Really pleased with those. I just want to show you the celery. Uh, I've chitted them, but these seeds are so, so small, all well, the seedlings. The seeds are small as well, but I've potted those up and this is what they look like on the chitting tray. The Octavius F1 and uh, they're so, so small. Not that to just see that, it's probably focusing on my hand more than anything else, but they do take a long time to chit. At least I can see what they're up to um, uh, in the uh, little sandwich tray and keep an eye on them. The wing lights in the greenhouse have done very well and having spoken to uh, CB uh, Greenhouse and Garden um, I've used an old uh, lampshade. Uh, hopefully Mrs King uh, doesn't spot that but now uh, it's movable and adjustable nice and safe because there is some weight in these but um, the review on the wing lights can be seen on uh, uh, CB's um, channel and I'll leave his channel description uh, in the link below. Thank you very much for watching my friends uh, if you've uh, liked the content of this video uh, please consider subscribing hit the like or dislike button all interaction we don't mind and please leave a comment especially if you would like to see uh, the greenhouse uh, LED grow lights that I may be showing and reviewing soon happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now